Now look, I'm Declocation, and these are my thoughts on the new Ashes of Ares album. And this is Leo. Right, well, what can I say? Upon first listen, I absolutely loved it. And on second listen, I loved it even more. And in fact, on the first day, I've just had it on repeat on this old crappy CD player here. Just over and over while I was playing, I don't know, Minecraft or something. The first song that they released was Dead Man's Plight, I think, on uh, YouTube. And um, when I first heard that, I wasn't really that phased by it. But I must say, I did really get into it. Um, I was like listening to it on YouTube like an awful lot. And I got really pumped up for it. A lot of people were complaining about the drums or something, but then they said on Facebook that like it was something to do with being low compression quality or something to do with that. But I must say, uh, it sounds a lot better on the album. Although, in some songs, it does... Um, well, it's more the bass, really. It seems to overpower the uh, uh, rest of the guitar a little bit, even to a point where I have to think, like... I think that I have to, you know... You know to unblock my ears just to hear it properly because it sounds like the guitars are really getting you know, sh shoved under the bass but I think that might be the uh, crapness of this CD player so never mind about that the music itself, well uh, the music itself I think is done perfectly uh, there's a real um, symbiosis between the vocals and the instruments like they really do go together really well. They complement each other. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, to a degree where, like, it's just absolutely perfect. I love it. Um, the best part is, you know, on most albums, when you get some, you know, obviously filler tracks, uh, where there's nothing really that sticks up out about them, um, and like you sort maybe sort of want to skip over them. You never really think. Man, I really want to hear that again. Like, just by itself, not the rest of the album, just that song. Well, this album is full of tracks that you do want to hear. Every single track has got a little thing about it that just sets it apart from the rest, and you just want to listen to every single one of the tracks. You never want to skip anything. I mean, uh, my favourites at the moment are The Messenger, Move the Chains, um, This Is My Hell, Dead Man's Plight, of course. Uh, Chance of Man has become one of my new favourites, and uh, the One-Eyed King is a very good closer as well. I uh, yeah, usually just skip out on the uh, uh, the answer acoustic, because I find that uh, it takes away from listening to the actual song, the answer itself. Because, you know, you hear it twice while listening to the album, and, you know, it's quite close to each other as well. So. But yeah, that's just my own, that's just my own thing, never mind. Remember, these are my thoughts on this album. So yeah, I think that the uh, guys have done a really good job with this. Uh, Matt, Van, and uh, Freddie have done a bloody brilliant job, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. And it pains me that I can't go to see them live at... Uh, well, I think the closest one to me was Bristol. But that's still about three hours away. So yeah, that's not really something I can do. Which uh, really sucks. But hopefully they'll be at Bloodstock and... Uh, Ashes of Aries, if you see this, go to Bloodstock next year. Uh, everyone will love it, trust me. So there you go, that's my thoughts on the new Ashes of Aries album. If you haven't bought it yet, then just buy it on whatever medium you, uh, you choose. It's out on vinyl, CDs, uh, digital downloads. Uh, support the band, they deserve it. Right guys, well, cheers for watching this video, and I'll uh, catch you again soon. See ya.